Okay, in this short video, I'm going to go over how you use the scanner class to create some input output functionality to your program. So there's three elements, three basic elements for creating a simple scanner program. First one is you need to import java.util and you actually use a line that looks identical to this. You put it at the top of your code before you declare your class name. So that's the first element. Next element is you need to create a scanner object. In this instance, the name of your object is called in, short for input output. Uh, so you, the format for that is declare the type, give the object a name, equal sign, and anytime you're creating an object, we'll be doing this more and more in the future, you use the word new, and this is just protocol that you have the word scanner again, and in parentheses, system.in. Okay? And this in here is not related to this object name. Third part, so you need to use a scanner method. In this instance, you're going to use what's called next line. That works in conjunction with strings. There, we'll learn about probably three or four, actually about four different scanner methods. The first one I'm showing you here is called next line. In the future, I'll show you one called next int, which simply allows you to bring in an integer. Next double, which allows you to bring in a double. And then you could have simply just next, which brings in a string as well. But the distinction is if the user types in a whole line, like a sentence, separated words separated by spaces, it only brings in the first word. Whereas if you use next line, it brings in the whole sentence, the whole line, if you will. All right, so let me show you how that looks in a program. So this is a simple program that will ask the user, what's your name? And then this line here will actually give a prompt. It will be a blinking cursor and will prompt the user to type in their name. And then after they press enter, the program continues. It doesn't do anything until they press enter. Once they do, then it comes to this line and should print out whatever they had put in um, on this line. here. So, like I said before, the import should be the first thing that is in your program above the class header. Okay. Then we have our main method where all the action takes place. We declare a string and give it the name name. We have our scanner object in we have a system out here that will print on the terminal window, what's your name? And then on line 12 here, we assign a value to our string that was declared up here. And it's going to be equal to whatever they type in on that line. And then that will simply print out to the screen. So let's, let's show you exactly how that looks. Right click, void main. Okay, what's your name? Well, press enter. You type the following. Pretty simple, right? There you go. We'll do some more detailed work with this in the future. That's how you use Scanner. Now.